Hello gamers, it's Tom Seidner, The Lonely Gamer, and one of my friends gave me a copy of Gloomhaven for Christmas. And I was so appreciative of him doing that, that I made him a Christmas present. And I also decided to give that Christmas present to all of you. So what I have done is I have written an attack modifier deck application for Gloomhaven. That way you don't have to mess with the deck. You can run that on your, this on your phone or you can run it on a tablet. So I'm going to give you a really quick rundown on how it works. I'm also going to put a link to the APK in the show notes. You will have to sideload that to get that on your device. But you can copy that APK and install it right on your device and it should run. Okay, so the app is pretty simple. The first thing you do is you click on the Gloomhaven Attack Modifier Deck icon that looks like the two swords here. You're going to see your starting deck. Now you're going to notice that there's 20 cards in the deck. That's because the starting deck in Gloomhaven has 20 cards and this is automatically loaded with the cards that you need for the original deck. You just click on it to draw a card. Every time you draw a card it tells you how many cards are left in your deck. You can keep on clicking on it until you find a card that requires a reshuffle. When you find a card that requires a reshuffle, it does not force you to reshuffle, but you can reshuffle at any time after that. If you need to continue your turn for that round, you can go ahead and uh, draw extra cards, and then when you're ready, you can reshuffle. It will shuffle the deck, and you'll be ready to draw again. You can also edit your deck. Uh, this screen here has all the... Uh, primary cards that come with it, all the basic cards and the curses and the um, blessings here. Up here you can see that there's a subtract and an add button. It defaults to subtract because normally when you start you're going to be subtracting maybe some negative one stuff out of your deck. But you can also add cards. So let's say you had to add some curses to your deck. You could click add. You could add some curses to your deck just like that. Uh, you can save your deck. Once you go back and you can see there's 26 cards in there because I add six curses into the deck. Uh, when you're pl pulling cards and you come to a card like a curse, uh, it will ask you if you want to remove that card from your deck. You can click remove the card from the deck and then uh, your card deck will actually go down by one. If we go into edit cards now you can see that there's only five curses in the deck instead of six. It will allow you to add as many of any cards you want. It will also allow you to subtract cards from your deck like that. So I can say I don't want those curses in my deck anymore. Save my deck, go back, and my deck is now back to 20. So this screen is the basic cards. And then if you go from screen to screen here, you're going to see all the extra cards that are there for all the starting characters. Now, I will tell you that I haven't been able to open my Gloomhaven up completely yet. I'm still playing it, so I have not uh, opened any expansion characters, so I don't have any expansion cards in here. Uh, once I get those expansion characters open, or if somebody's willing to send me the card scans from the expansion characters, then I would add them as well. But anyway, there's several pages of cards here that you can add to your deck once you start unlocking your character. I did not duplicate them, so if two characters had the same card, then it may be here under a different character's symbol, but that's okay. You can still add it to any deck. And that's it. That's the app. It's a pretty simple app, but it's really convenient to use. And if you have any problems with it, please uh, do not hesitate to put a comment uh, below and let me know that you're having an issue, and I will debug it, and I will fix the APK and put a new one out there. So uh, until I see you guys again... Happy gaming. This video was provided by The Lonely Gamer. To see more of our news, reviews, and videos, please visit us at LonelyTabletopGamer.com.